this is Cianor's Creations and this is our next video and we're going to show you how to make this bracelet and it's called the Geometry Bracelet. So it's reversible and you can see the way these yellow and navy bands go over the white then across they go under the white. So sorry for not making any tutorials lately, we've been really busy with Christmas celebrations, so hopefully you forgive us. So, we're going to get started. I'm going to use white as the middle bands here, the single chain. I'm going to use purple and blue as the yellow and navy. And I'm going to use navy for the black border. So, Let's get started. You're also going to need a loom, a rainbow loom set up in this configuration with all the pin bars aligned and the hook. Today I'm going to be using a rainbow loom metal hook. So to get started you'll need the red arrows pointing away from you. So you're going to place the white single chain first. So whatever color you're using, start at the bottom and place just a normal single chain all the way up the loom. And this is an intermediate level design because it, of the colored bands, it's a kind of woven pattern. So Hopefully you are able to do it. So once you've got to the top, you're going to start with your border here, the black on this bracelet. And I'm using navy. So take one navy band, and this is why it's called the geometry bracelet. Put it in a square. So from the outside pin bar to the single chain, just make a square. You're going to make another square overlapping the first one in the same way and push it down. And you're going to make a chain of squares all the way up the loom. So if you don't know how to do this, you can rewind the video and we're not going to skip ahead because some people may not know how to do this. So once you've got to the top, you're going to do the other side now in the same way, all the way. The last one at the top. And now you'll need your hook now. And you're not going to begin looping just yet. So you're going to, this is the navy and yellow part. So get your hook out and grab your first color. You can use one color, but I'm going to use two. So I'm going to start with purple and you have to watch really carefully. So you're going to go in under this navy band, over this band here under the white and you're going to grab this put it on your hook pull that through everything put that on your last peg and this on the next peg so I'm going to do that again slowly so this time with blue 
So, under that band here, over this band here, under this white band, grab your blue, pull it through all of these, and onto separate pins. I'll do that once more in detail. So you're going to have to do this for the whole length of the loom and then on the other side. So under this, oh sorry, under this, over this, under this, and then pull it through. If that slips off, you can just adjust it like that. And put it oh it's okay if it slips off, you can just do it again. So under, over, under, grab your band, pull it through, put it on your peg, and you're done that. So you can see how it makes this triangle pattern. You can pull it if you want. It doesn't really make any difference. So I'm going to continue doing this. And since it's the difficult part, we're not going to be skipping ahead. However long this tutorial may take. So we're just going to keep doing this. If you're stuck, you can rewind. Okay, it's okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. See who's doing the camera, by the way. You will thank me. Okay, so I'm going to go a little bit faster because I don't want this tutorial to drag on. So if you're somehow already done, then you can wait for me or most likely you will probably just skip ahead. Okay, so what happens, you can just pull the band off and start again. So. Under, over, under. I actually only invented this today, so I'm not very familiar with it. I've only done it once. And I'll put my Instagram name down in the description box if you want to check that out. But it seems to be happening a lot. And at the end of this part, I'll just tell you what I'm wearing on my wrist, because <clears throat> I know some people wonder. And I'll tell you the colors, because I got bands for Christmas. Oh yeah, sorry. Purple next. And comment below which type of bracelets you like best, because we kind of don't know which to make. So, whether you like finger loom bracelets, or rainbow loom groin bracelets, or one loom bracelets, or two loom bracelets, or three loom bracelets, that's probably unlikely. So, oh. Okay, it's okay if you do the colors wrong. So, you're not going to do this last one because it just affects the look of it. So, instead, you're going to go back to the top. And I'm going to 
turn my limb around. I'm gonna do purple here. And for tutorial's sake, we're not going to skip ahead. It's not very band consuming either. I don't tend to count the bands, but maybe I will in the description box. Hopefully you can see Hopefully next tutorial might be a fingerloom tutorial because I got one for Christmas Or maybe C wants to do the next tutorial. I will. That's creepy. I actually kind of got this name from the game Geometry Dash. And as soon as I told C the name, he wanted to do a charm based off that. So maybe that'll be the next tutorial. Yeah, I didn't do that right. It might be. It might. So now, last one, and after this you can begin looping, and the looping process is extremely easy, oh god, so under, over, under, grab that band, and we are done. So now all you have to do is loop, you can see it made this really cool pattern. Like it's kind of a triangle and rectangles, and then these are all woven in. If you want, you can press them in together with your hook, that improves the look of the design. So, and you can push down with your hook. And now, the last band you're going to be placing is just a cut band, so. I'm going to show you how to do that on your fingers, and I'm going to show you how to do that on the hook, and I'm going to show you how to do that on the loop. So, I'm just going to do a simple double cap. So, grab the band, twist it, and then put that back on your finger. Put that on the last bit. Just there. But, I'm going to show you how to do that on your hook. So, get your hook tip and place the band on and cross it, put it back on. And it's the same thing up here. Or you can do it on the peg itself. So, you can do that, cross it from there. So, once you have that, you can begin looping. So, the looping process is really simple. Just go in through all of these bands. Your hook can kind of get jammed in. And you're just gonna go in through all of these. Grab the white single chain band, and if your limb comes out, you can just. Press it back in and pull that to the next peg. So as you would a normal single chain. Hopefully you know how to do this. I'm not going to explain it in depth. 
should make a teardrop shape. And make sure you're going through all the bands. Because if you don't, it will not work. And this is the last step, and I'm going to show you how to clip it and add a short extension as this bracelet comes out quite long. And the last one, pull it up to there. And now we are done. So I'm just going to take it off gradually from the bottom here because that's just how I do it. So you can take it off pin bar by pin bar, or you can take it off top to the bottom or bottom to the top. Make sure you, if you're doing it this way, you remember not to take off the top middle because then it'll fall apart. You can already see the kind of frills at the edges, and it's not a very big, thick bracelet, but it's very detailed, so that's why I like it. So now I'm just gonna pull it off by hand. It's okay if your pinner pops out. We're done anyway. And it'll kind of look like a mess at the start, but it will come out better. And then I'm just going to take that pin there and pull these off. And then on the last pin, you're going to take your extension color, make sure they don't fall off. I'm going to be using purple. So you're going to take your purple, go in through all the bands, Grab that purple, pull it through, put it on your back in your hook, and there is your first bracelet. So you can pull it like that, and then I'm just gonna show you how to make the extension. So you can do it on your loom, but I'm gonna show you how to do it on your hook. So you're just gonna get a band, pull it through. And for me, it's going to be three bands long. Maybe four. And now you're going to grab your clips. Oh, I forgot to take your eyes back it. I don't know actually what these clips are actually called. I usually use S clips. These are like O clips, maybe. So you're gonna, I'm just gonna pull that tight. Then put your clip onto, oh. Put that back. Then turn it around. Clip it onto this end here and cut band and there is your finished geometry bracelet i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe give it a like and comment so i'll see you in your next video bye